Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix. Capricorn, you are next up for the May 2021 Energy Tarot Card Reading. Okay, let's get some things out the way. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Amazon Music, Audible, Overcast, Bullhorn, and several other podcasting platforms. Listen to whatever platform works best for you. And thank you to those who have been listening to the podcast. I sincerely appreciate it. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Now, as for the tarot card readings, I read energy. I don't read reversals. Wherever the energy goes, that's where I go. Also, if I'm talking about a king of swords or a queen of wands, I'm not necessarily talking about a male or a female. There is an agenda in tarot. I'm saying that you or someone around you may embody that energy. It could be a male or a female, but eh, I'm just saying you embody that energy. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading some tarot cards. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. For the monthly reading, I usually pull eight cards unless I need to pull more with uh, the main deck or the clarifying deck. You know, everything's on a case-by-case basis. I do a pre-shuffle. For the pre-shuffle in the main deck, I pull the King of Swords. King of Swords is air energy, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini. King of Swords is very no nonsense uh, and very analytical. King of Swords is very good with his words. The King of Swords can also be someone in a position of authority because it is, after all, a king. So you could be dealing with someone in a position of authority. However, I feel like this is you embodying that energy. And I, and I will go into why in a second. Uh, with the King of Swords, the King of Swords also wants to know what the plan is. Like if there's, if something is about to happen, you can't, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this. You can't say to a King of Swords, someone with King of Swords energy, okay, we're going to go out to eat. King of Swords is going to be like, where are we going? The reason the King of Swords is asking is because the King of Swords wants to know the restaurant so the King of Swords can start running through the menu in their head so they will already know what they plan on ordering by the time they get there. That's how the King of Swords works. The King of Swords wants to know. The King of Swords isn't someone who likes to be in the dark. Now, the next card that came out was the King of Wands. So we have two kings here. King of Wands is about passion. King of Wands can be about bedroom (laughs) too. King of Wands is known as an attractive individual. King of Wands is also known as an architect, an entrepreneur, someone who can take charge of a situation. I really feel that you are embodying Both these energies. The reason I say that is because in the clarifying deck, the page of, and by the way, Wands is fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, The page of cups, cups energy, water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. When the page of cups card came out, it did show as reversed. And... I will take that because the energy that I'm picking up is that someone is attempting to make you an offer. The second card that came out was the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is abundance, it's stability, it's good health, it's it's the creme de la creme of Pentacles when it comes to that, Uh, you know, besides the Ace of Pentacles. But Ten of Pentacles is just having abundance, wealth, good health, stability for your family and all of this stuff. With the Ten of Pentacles showing with the Page of Cups, I feel someone is offering you stability 
and abundance and they're like, oh, I want to marry you. Oh, I want to take care of you, blah, blah, blah. But I really feel you're in that King of Swords, King of Wands combination where you're like, I've heard it all before. That reminds me, who sings that song? What is that girl's name? Um, Sunshine Anderson. That's who it is. If you ever get a chance, listen to the song, Heard It All Before. I feel like that is kind of your energy with this individual. And this could be a romantic or a romance type of situation. Or it could be a work situation where they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to um, next Next time during your next review, we're going to make sure you get that promotion. We didn't give it to you this time, but next time, you know, if you do this, 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 and that, we're going to give you this and we're going to give you that. And in your head, you're kind of like, oh, well, shh, heard it all before type thing. I feel you want results now. It's like either put up or shut up is, is kind of your attitude dealing with whatever the, these promises are that are being made to you. It's, it's one of those things where I will believe it when I see it. Heard it all before. And you're not really taking whatever the offer is that seriously. Hence why you've either verbally rejected it or you've mentally rejected it in your mind where you've heard it and it's just like you're thinking in your head, Shh, whatever. But you may not have said it out loud to whoever made you the offer. That's the energy I'm feeling. Because you're in that King of Swords, King of Wands energy where it's like, look, I'm I'm attracted because the King of Wands is, a, is an attractive individual. And again, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. King of Wands is an attractive individual. They, the King of Wands knows they, they got game. The King of Wands knows they can pull whoever they need to pull because the, it's the King of Wands. The King of Wands has the biggest wand out of all the kings, if you catch what I'm saying. And again, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. With the King of Swords, the King of Swords isn't about the games because the King of Swords is like, I want to see the receipts. The King of Swords is about that intellect. The King of Swords, I want to see the receipts. You can tell me this all day long, but I want to see the receipts. Show me the receipts. That, that you want to do this, that you want to make this happen. Oh, you're going to give me this new position or do this or do that. Okay, fine. If you're going to do that, then show me the paperwork saying that next time if I, if I do this, this and that, then I'll get the raise or I'll get the promotion into a new position and all of this other stuff. I, I want to see the receipts. You're, I feel you're in a combination of both that type of energy where you know your worth and whatever people tell you, they're going to have to back it up with something, especially if they've made promises in the past and you've heard it all before. That's what I'm picking up. And I think I might title this. You've heard it all before. But let's see what the main reading says, because there's no telling what's going to come out in the main part. I'm going to pull eight cards and take it from there. I need eight cards for the energy of Capricorn for May 2021. May I have eight cards for the energy of Capricorn for May 2021? May I have eight cards? For the energy of Capricorn for May 2021. May I have eight cards, please, for Capricorn? Thank you. Yep. Mm. May I have seven more cards, please? And those just came flying out. Wow, this came out of Aries, but it was in reverse for Aries. Interesting. A lot of fire. Capricorn, you're not playing games. May I have five more cards? 
this one. That also came out for, you got the same three cards in a row, except yours are in, wow. Okay, thank you. This is, okay, I'm just, let me be quiet. Oh, <laughs> I have three more cards. For Capricorn, may I have three more? Ugh, that one fell. What is it? Yeah. And the, I'm picking up a. Oh, I'm picking up an energy. I'll tell you in a second. May I have two more cards for Capricorn? And that just went down to the ground. Hold on. What card is this? My baby's getting dirty. Okay, yep, yeah. may I have one more card, please? And I got two. They came out to get, wow. I'm taking these two together. I'm taking these two together, wow. Capricorn, that's it. You've heard it all before. I don't, again, I mentioned this, if you listen to my energy pull, because for those who may not know, I pull the signs out of a bag, the astrological signs on how I will record everyone's readings. That way people know there isn't any bias or anything like that. During my energy pulling, you can go to the episode and listen to it. I was pulling a lot of twos where I pulled Aries and Sagittarius together, which are two fire signs. Then I pulled Capricorn and Virgo, you know, and then it was Aquarius and Gemini. So and I was like, there's a lot of twos coming up. And then I mentioned during the pool that, OK, we have six signs that came out together. In the tarot card deck, the major arcana, six, the lovers it, in its rawest form. Is about choices, is what it means. It doesn't mean, oh, I love you, I want to be with you, blah, 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 all that stuff. No. In its, in its rawest form, it means choices. And I said during the pool that I have a feeling during the month of May, people will have to make choices. And that is what all of these cards are saying that I just pulled for you, Capricorn, is that it's not you making a choice. Your choice has already been made. Whoever you're dealing with, whatever situation you're dealing with, whether it is romance, whether it is work, whether it is family, whatever it is, you're telling them, you're very no-nonsense right now. You're, I can't cuss because I want to keep it a family you know, a family podcast. But there is a quote, it's who the F want war. And I really, <laughs> Capricorn, that's how I feel you are right now. Like who the F want war? <laughs> it's like who, whatever situation you're dealing with, you, you're telling them like either you need to do this or that's it. Because the first card that came out was the five of wands. Five of wands is fire energy. Again, lots of fire. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo, or in Aries. So Five of Wands, again, is about conflict. You're, I have a feeling you're very passionate with your words right now. And you are not mincing your words. Like, I, I think, and I'm laughing because the energy I'm picking up is where you were reserved at one point. And don't forget in the major arcana card, in the major arcana, the devil is Capricorn. I feel like you're letting the devil come out is what I feel like <laughs> is what's happening because you just don't want to deal with the nonsense and you don't care if there's an argument and you don't care if people get mad. So the five of wands is out, conflict, whatever situation you're dealing with. The next card that follows it, page of wands. 
new starts. Also, it can be movement, physical movement. It can be relocation as well, too. Um, I'm not really picking up relocation. You could. You could be traveling. It's a, it's a possibility. But also with the Page of Wands, pages carry messages. And pages are about new starts. But there could be a message coming in to you in regards to a new start with passion and things of that nature. Pages, the Page of Wands is a little bit similar to the Ace of Wands in, in, in a way. But I really feel this is you. I feel you're taking on this energy. I feel that you are making it clear. You're delivering the message to people. No, don't try me. I've heard it all before. Don't, don't try me. And the next card that came out, which is also fire energy, is the fool. Fool is about a new start, a new beginning. This is Aries energy, is what this is. You're willing to, if they don't give you what you feel you're worth, then you're willing to do away with the situation. Mind you, this card came up for Aries too. Five of Swords. Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Five of Swords is about conflict, but it comes with a cost is what happens. Meaning you will more than likely win whatever the battle is, but something may be lost in the process. Whether it is a lost friendship, whether it is a lost um, relationship with a romance or a lost relationship with a family member or a lost job. Regardless, you're willing to cut your losses because what they've been telling you in your mind, you've been like, I've heard it all before. And you know what? I'm done. That's why the fool is here. And then the five of swords came out where you're going to cut your losses. The next card that comes out is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is about abundance. It is emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups is about family, too. Ten of Cups is a little bit similar to the Ten of Pentacles. Both are about abundance. Pentacles more towards stability. Cups deal with earth energy. Uh, not earth energy, slow moment. Um, Pentacles on my mind. Cups deal with water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this deals with emotional stuff. And I feel because it's the Ten of Cups here, you want something that not just fulfills you on a physical level, a fi like a financial level, because that's what pinnacles are. You know, that that physical foundational stability, mon you know, when it comes to money and things like that. You want the emotional fulfillment, the emotional abundance. You're fine if you get the nice home, the nice car, the great job and all of that stuff. But it doesn't mean much to you if you're not emotionally fulfilled. And whatever your situation is, you want to be emotionally fulfilled. Hence why, five of wands, you're not taking any prisoners right now because you haven't been emotionally fulfilled. Whoever has been dealing with you has not been delivering what they have said they will deliver. And that's why you're you're just done. And again, like I mentioned before, the, the super moon happens on the 26th of April, which deals with Scorpio. And also, side note, which I should have said this to Aries too, but with the super moon happening, secrets will come out because it deals with Scorpio. So if there's any secrets going on, there may be some secrets that are that are going to come out. Also, it may be a thing of where you've kept how you felt a secret in regards to whatever relationship you're dealing with. And now you're finally speaking up and saying, I'm not going to keep this a secret anymore. I'm going to say what's on my mind and I'm not taking any prisoners. Enough is enough because what they've been telling me, I've heard it all before. Now, with the Ten of Cups, that's what you want is the emotional abundance. You want to be emotionally fulfilled. Again, Back to choices. The lover's card came up. The lover's is Gemini energy. You could be dealing with the Gemini. But 
the lovers in its rawest form is about choices. Now, this could be something with romance. It, everyone's situation is different. Again, I'm just a person reading some tarot cards. I can only tell you what energy I'm picking up as I'm looking at the cards. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But with the lovers coming up, again, it's about choices. The next card that comes out after that is the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is about an ending, something coming to an end, something being very painful, coming to an end. Swords, again, is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with any of those signs that might be part of this ending that now that you're in the take no prisoners mode, I don't know if I'm going to title this take no prisoners or heard it all before. I wonder which I'll figure it out after I'm done. But yeah, now that you're in a take no prisoners type of mode, you it's just, OK, this is going to end. Whatever the situation is, it's going to end. The reason I know it's going to end is because guess who popped out yet again? Don't forget, this card came out in your pre-shuffle, King of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And I feel this is part of the energy that you are embodying right now. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. The other card that came out with it is the Six of Swords. More Swords energy, more Air energy. Six of Swords is about movement, moving away from something. I call the Six of Swords the Mind Over Heart card where your heart may say, oh, well, let me see if I can make the situation work out. Your mind is like, no, it's not happening. Let's get away from this. It can be physical movement. It can be relocation. It can be um, leaving a relationship, leaving a job, leaving family members behind, leaving friendships behind, leaving whatever. The decision was made as a king. Again, it doesn't matter if you are male or female. As a king, once everything was presented to you, you made the decision that you're going to do your own thing because you've heard it all before and you're not going to take any prisoners. This time is what's happening. So Capricorn, that is what I have for you. If any of this resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. That way you will know when I upload new audio to the podcast and new video to the channel. And don't forget to share because sharing is caring. Until next time, be blessed.